It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yes, it is. All right, perfect. Then let's make the groups and let's get started. I think that should be good to go. Hey, Roxy, everything okay? Celia, everything okay? Celia? Okay, good. Hello? Hello? Um, hello. Hi. Okay, so if you want, we, we can start. Yes. Okay, uh, so the first one is already done. Uh, the second one, the filming details need to be written out. Written out, yes. The third one. The third one, first. An outline of the script has to be prepared. Yeah. With ED. Mm -hmm. The fourth. Uh, next one, actors. Next, actors. Sí, yeah, yeah. Oh. The number two, the filming details need uh, to, to, need, need to be written. Hi, teacher. Hey, how are you? Any questions? Everything is okay? In the second, in the second, I have a problem. The filming details need to be written. What do you think, Gladys? Do you think he's correct? Uh, yes, but we're, we're missing out. We need, to, no, sorry, need to be written out. That's written correct. Out? Okay. okay. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Vamos a ver si está buena. Oh. You don't believe Gladys? Ay, Gladys, they don't believe you. They don't believe you, Gladys. <laughs> no, Gladys, Gladys. What, what, what happened, okay. Daniel? Is correct or no? ¿En cuál? En la... Sí, es correcta. Es correcta. Ay, Gladys, you see. Ah, and Gladys was nervous. She's, ah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> correct. Okay. Good. Good. And the third, third, third. How are you? Hi, Abner. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> Can you tell me what, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, we, we were chatting. But <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> we need to work in the part 4.4 4 in the platform oh, or complete okay. the, the another 11 sentences. I already made them yesterday. Oh, really? Uh, oh, I was, great. I, I was working in that one. Last night I said, okay, I, I will work a little bit and I and I made this one. I did. So great. Oh, great. So maybe I was, we I was a little confused at the beginning. I think that the the way is to be like um use the verb to be, right? And the past participle. That's yeah. and, and they give you what they want. For example, in the number two, English corporativo had the same the same uh, methodology. I don't know, but uh, he is taking classes, but in basic level, and, and with uh, from Monday to Friday, two hours per day. Two hours per day. Hey. I, I think the pro, the reason that they changed the, our schedule is because we were having a lot of problems with uh, at the assistance 
maybe oh. you maybe are correct, Ernesto. That that is why they changed it. That's right. Is because oh. before they before they had um, the two hours per day for the group for this group they had uh -huh. Monday, Monday through Friday for this level and for other levels. Um, and the idea, the, the intention was to continue, but the problem was that many people had, uh, like Ernesto said, had problems with the attendance. Some people uh, would come one hour late or finish one hour early or uh, miss one day and, and completely. And, and then they, the problem is because it's double the time, but it's also double the platform. It's two times as much on the platform. So for example, imagine in this moment is what you do in one week in, the, in that class. All that we did from the beginning of this course to now is what you do in one week because it's Monday through Friday, two hours every day. Yeah, this, this, guy, this kind of course is a little bit maybe easy or less charges than the, than the last one. And, but it's okay because yeah, we were having problems with the attendance because of our jobs. That and 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 some jobs they, the jobs want the people to learn English, but many jobs don't want to give you the permission. They want you to learn in your time, not in the not in the time for the company. Exactly, that is uh, the main problem, and sometimes uh, even uh, uh, two hours per per day, and from Monday to Friday. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit hard to be honest, <laughs> because I mean we are we are coming from our job and then we have to join the but well in my case the university classes and after the university then continue with the English and also I, I was studying German as well so a little bit hard to to, <laughs> to make the course very very hard <laughs> yeah. no teacher but but I really miss the um, the last uh, the last methodology this is the, the the right word yes maybe maybe it is uh -huh. because i need more practice for mm -hmm. me was good was good uh, the intensive course i really uh. i i i don't agree with with this course is is too too easy no easy <laughs> because I'm not expert, but it's not for me. It's not the. It's not correct. Maybe I was. I was thinking and looking for another uh, English academy. It's a good idea. Yeah, maybe. Uh -huh. Maybe the problem I think is that they did. They didn't make like a questionnaire about. Oh, what person uh, would prefer to continue with the last uh, methodology and uh, which one uh, would like to continue with the new one. And so I think that was the problem that they all select us or the whole group and may pass it to this, this methodology. Yes, it's, it's very, because they made the decision that it's not enough people to have two groups. It's only enough to have in one group or the other. and because there was a problem with the other, they say, okay, in this, then it's better just one hour. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they didn't ask the people or the participants, which is, uh -huh. for that, me, that is, was the problem. Yeah, for me, this is the easiest. If you ask and you say, okay, Karen, would you like to continue with uh, one hour or two hours? Uh, and you say two hours, okay, Karen, but in this moment, we don't have, so, you have to wait or look for another academy because in this moment only the only offer is one hour if you want but then is yeah. but then it's better because you make the decision it's not ah, an obligation to to make this mm -hmm. decision mm -hmm. yeah, i think that was the problem they didn't do that yeah they just passed the passed the whole group to those to this new methodology mm -hmm. And for some people, it's okay because it's difficult, the, the schedule and the time, and now they feel, uh, they feel better that they can, they can do all of the class. But for other people, yeah. they, and other people, they have the time. And, and they say, no, I, I, I'm going slowly. And the other is, I practice more, I have more exercises, I have more activities, I have more platform. But 
but it's not the same now for for the two groups so maybe maybe yeah. maybe they decide again but i think for the moment they're not going to have the two groups only only one this one for the one hour oh, mm -hmm. just one hour yeah oh, they're, no. yeah they're it may, it may be the next mo the next module module mm -hmm. uh, do you know if, it, if they are going to open or an, 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 a group with the old methodology to you, all? You have to, you have to request for the list. You have to be, you have to tell Jonathan that you want to be on the list for two hours. And then they tell you if it's possible or not possible for the amount of people. Mm. 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 But, but they haven't asked about it. No, but I don't. maybe I, I'm going to ask Jonathan tomorrow because yeah, I, yeah, need, yeah. I need two hours. Yeah, ask, only send Jonathan a message and say, hey, Jonathan, I'm, I'm in this group and I, I had before the methodology of two hours. Um, are, is there, a possible, is there a, another group that I can join for two hours? And he's going to tell you because sometimes he's going to say no in this moment, but if you wait one month, uh, for the next group, then you can join the other group or he can say, oh, yes, in this moment, we are making a new group for the people that are interested or he, they, because they know they're the ones who, who make the group. So it's better to ask him. And then if it's a possibility, it's perfect for you. Mm, yes, yes, teacher. Thank you. I'm going to ask him okay. tomorrow, tomorrow. It's a good idea because in this uh, moment, I, uh, you have enough time to because we still have next week to finish. So in this moment is a good moment to ask. Yes, uh -huh. and maybe he could, he could uh, send us uh, like a, a survey mm -hmm. about, about our options for the next level. Yeah, just ask him and maybe there, maybe there are options or I don't know, or maybe there are no options. So, but mm -hmm. if, you, if you ask Jonathan, then you are clear. Yes, it's possible or no, it's not possible. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, Karen. I get it. I get it. The what sentences uh, has a mistake? What? For. Okay. Hey, Andrea, why so sad, huh? What happened? I'm what happened? Sad. No, uh, I'm not sad, teacher. <laughs> no. I'm looking. I'm looking in the video, and <laughs> you have to be like Roxana, always smiling, always happy, beautiful colors. You see. Sometimes even, even I'm not like that, but uh, well, almost. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I am a little bit crazy, right, Andrea? <laughs> yeah, we Did know. You remember it was, that I was like, <laughs> yeah, I remember. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> no, no, no. no worries. Yeah. Well, I think everybody's doing very pretty good um, as far as doing the passive and remembering the verb to be. Remember that there are different options for the verb to be and always the past participle. Sometimes this is the hardest part, is the, the past participle to remember which ones are regular, which ones are irregular. But most of them are a good idea. Okay, before we continue into our next topic, are there any questions, anything that's not clear or you're not sure about? Um, what is the right pronunciation of the of the participle of choose? Chose. Oh, sorry. Uh, the participle is chosen. Chosen. Cho chosen. Mm -hmm. So it's choose the present, chose the past, and chosen the participle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Uh, 
pronunciation, words, definitions, uh, grammar, anything? Teacher, do you have like a list of the verb that um, are like uh, the, the present and the past participle? Because sometimes uh, with irregular verbs, it's hard to remember like, like for example, this one, choose, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I put it uh, in the first time like in past, but I didn't use the past participle. So when Maria Isabel uh, say, no, it's past participle, oh yeah, it's past participle, but... Um, so but you didn't remember which one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no problem, Roxana. I can send you um, a list. Um, I'm gonna send you, it's, it's not gonna be a complete list, but it's going to be the, yeah. the common ones because there's so many verbs that yeah. they are, but at least the common verbs, I can send you a list of the common verbs. Um, I'll send it in the WhatsApp because I think that's easier for everyone because even for the people that don't come to class or sometimes they are not able, they can access and have the information also. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. Anybody else, any other questions? Um, teacher, yeah, Ernesto. Maybe uh, uh, I would like to make like a little report about the platform mm -hmm. in the exercise two point nine. Uh, I think it's a, a mistake with the platform, with because the answer is always wrong. And me, I tried with all the possibilities, and uh, it's always wrong. Let me take a look in this moment. Two point nine, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exercise five. Okay, let me check. I don't remember which is the the exercise, so let me see, and I, I'll I'll let you know. And the, the number exercise four. number five is number the five. One that yeah. Okay, let's take a look. All right. Okay. Uh, read the paragraph completed by filling the blank space using it since, because of, uh, for, due to, and the reason. Okay. And number five is one, two. I have the same problem with that. Three, it's the only one that four, is five. wrong for me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I tried all the possibilities. All, yeah. all the possible. <laughs> hey, I'm going to I zoom it like uh, ten times that. <laughs> And okay. which, which are, which um, are we talking about? I'm going to show you right now. That way we're not, we're all talking about the same one. Um, and I want to make sure this is the correct one. Um, is this the correct one? Knowledge check 2.9? Uh, yeah. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. And let's, let me see if I can make, I don't think I can make, ah, here we go. Oh, let's make it a little bit bigger. So that's easier to see. I I remember we were talking about that one I'm, because we were saying that depends sometimes in the way that they want or do you take the answer or the of the question? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. It's the um, one, two, three, four, five. It's the one where it says it's music awards show and then the space so many people watch it to see all the fashionable guests right right uh, what answer did you try i tried all the answers <laughs> did you try the reason i i i did uh that was an answer the, it's uh, right here right here you can try the reason try the reason that the reason that I have it wrong. No. Can I write? Yeah, the reason why? that works. It does. Ah, yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> there you go. No problem. So, yeah. what is the answer, teacher? <laughs> the the reason. The, I... Sorry, it was the answer is or the answer the correct answer is the reason that. But I, I used the reasons, but I didn't put why? the that. 
So uh, that was the mistake. Oh. <laughs> there, you can fix it. The reason. Yeah, I already that, did. <laughs> okay, good, good. Yes, medium. Sure. Yes, medium. I have it. I have it correct, and it and I and I put it. The reason I write the reason why. That is also and correct. And I have it correct. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. There, because that's an, that's another. You can use the reason that or the reason why, because in okay. this case is explaining. So both answers would be correct. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Hey, teacher. Yeah. Yes, I got a question also. Sure, Eric. Some issues with the the first part and exercise one point ten. I don't know. Maybe I doing some but the last answer didn't work for me. Number 1.10, correct, Eric? 1.10. Okay, let me take a look at it right now. And just in case, we don't wanna, we wanna make sure you get the good, a good answer. Don't worry, as soon as it loads, I'll share, I'll share it with everyone. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. I th this is actually one that I, I have that we did together, but we did part of the answers in class. Okay, Eric, which number? Number five. Number uh, five, the last one, yes. Okay. What did you try, Eric? Let me see if I, uh, first by- I wouldn't be broke as I am now. Say one more time, Eric. I wouldn't say be- If I say that I wouldn't be broke as I am now. Almost. You, you need to use as two times, Eric. You only used it one time. But as is used two times. Look at my screen. Here's one as, and here's the other as. Yeah. Okay. So I think you I already see it. Uh huh. So I wouldn't see it. If I'd saved money, I I I think you're 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 almost completely correct. Um, I wouldn't. Let me make sure it's the right one. I wouldn't be broke as. I wouldn't. No, no I wouldn't be, be as, as broke. broke because always is the. The adjective is in between, wouldn't or the, be I wouldn't be as broke. Yes. As I am now. As broke as I am now. I think that would be the correct way. Mm -hmm. You is the as you only use one as. I think that that was the mistake that you put, Eric. Okay. Did you try it? You say my day right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you okay. very much. Of course, of course. That's the idea to make sure that. Sometimes it's, we're not sure what is the mistake or sometimes it's the computer, right? Because sometimes it's, it's the platform. Mm -hmm. I did this, this uh, number of, a lot of times I, and I've already give up because I guess something on my computer or maybe the platform, but many eyes can see better than one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why we work in teams. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Any other questions? No? So everybody has 80 or more, right? I checked the grades. Everything is 80 or more. Lesson I one. Yes, my medium? I have uh, two, two incorrect, but in 4.8. So we, we're not there yet. I think we we were just going to go to there. I think that's the uh, listening, if, if I'm correct. Let me check. Um, um, or no, the 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 one before. The knowledge one. check. Knowledge. Oh yes, four point eight. We're not there yet. You're right. That's the one mm -hmm. that after the defining and non-defining. But don't worry, okay. medium. Even if we're not there yet, I let's take a look because <laughs> it's going to help everybody. It's it's one of those situations that, you know, everybody has to do it. So, it's better mm -hmm. to be together. Okay. okay, I share my screen. This is, this is what Medium is asking about, 4.8. Okay, um, which one, Medium? One and four. Okay. 
It's an undefined relative clauses. Okay, add a non-defining. So oh, then, uh, yes. A foreign correspondent who writes about events in other countries travels all over the world. That's okay. correct, Miriam. That's but right. It, but it says that no. Maybe I made some, and I, I checked the spelling, and I don't know what happens. I really I don't know. Well, let me write that answer first, and okay. let's find out. And and then uh, let me see if it gives it to me incorrectly. Right? Mm -hmm. About events. So what what we're looking at, or what we are about to look at, is this, and this is what what is considered relative clauses, and we have defining and non-defining relative clauses. Okay, the the idea of defining relative clauses is because is necessary information. This is this means that you need it in order to complete the sentence. Non-defining is that you don't need it it's only extra information it's like an adjective it's only talking about uh, more information okay <laughs> let me see if i have it yeah medium is the same answer <gasps> and you see okay you, you, so then it's look i i show you okay. a foreign correspondent who writes about events with s uh-huh in other countries Wait, exactly. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, okay. I go back. I go back. Right there. Uh, Maybe she forgot the comma. No. Oh, Ernesto. Hey, medium, what about the commas? Did you forget the commas? Yes. I the, did it, but I try it. The, because there's two comma? commas. Remember. Uh -huh, there, there are two. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. No sé por qué no me deja. It doesn't let me. Oh, the period, maybe. Or the period at the end. Thank you, Maria. Period. Also, okay. uh -huh. so it's two commas and the period. Remember, the two commas and the period. Okay, two commas and the period. So the first okay. comma is after correspondent. Oh uh, yeah. And the second comma is after countries. I don't know what happened. It doesn't let me correct it. Only refresh the page. It should allow you. If you refresh, it should allow you to, to correct it. Okay. In the last one. Okay. You were you corrected it. Okay. Let me see. Try it. Gossip columnist writes about celebrities and scandal, who gets to go to private party. Okay. So it's the same. It should be the same format. A, mm -hmm. with, that you are talking about is, a gossip columnist. Okay, mm -hmm. this is the person that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Com then we put a comma. Yeah. And then the extra information uh, who gets to go to fabulous parties. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then a comma at the end of that statement. Yeah. And then we put a period and that's it. Hang on. Period? No. Uh, Writes about celebrities and scandals, uh-huh. Yes, writes about. Uh -huh. Okay, let me try, let's check. Yeah, it's correct, Miriam. But I don't know why I have it, I have it, you will see, you will see. I tell you what, Miriam, you, yeah. if you want, you share your screen with us and maybe somebody in the class because we have more eyes, maybe one of us can identify what is your mistake. What's going on, yeah. Yeah. Let me see. So, I think everybody saw the correct answer, right? Okay, can you see? Let's see. Okay, okay. Can you okay. see it? Celebrities and scandals. Okay, I can, I can see it, but now only, only I see celebrities and okay. scandals, okay. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Uh-huh. Okay. A gossip, a gossip columnist. Columnist. Let me take this out. Columnist who gets to go to fabulous parties, writes 
a comma, write about celebrities and scandals, period. No, 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 scandals is incorrect. Look, scandals, scandals you, you didn't ah. read it correctly. Mm -hmm. ah. Oh my God, imagine that, can you imagine that? I was almost getting, yeah, okay. Okay, like. okay, 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 right now. Let's see the, the, the other one. Correspondent. Mm -hmm. I don't know if anybody can, else can identify the correspondent. Let's see, let's see. The correspondent, wait. Yeah, okay. You can help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There? Okay. The correspondent who writes about events in other countries. Okay, right? Comma. Countries. Comma. Wait. Travels all over the world. Here it. Now let's see. Ah, you see? Ah, let's see. A foreign correspondent. Yeah, that one I can't see. Medium is is the the letters too difficult for to identify. Let's see, it, because I but, have it in. I have some in the in the telephone. And I'm working on that. That's why I can't share share it with you. No problem. Okay. But, but I think to... that there is no space between the the second comma and the yeah. T for travel. I saw that. Ah. I, I I think that that is the the problem. Good okay. eye, Celia. Good yeah. eye, because I couldn't yeah. see anything. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm really, I'm, I'm I'm really close to the computer. <laughs> I, I feel I'm oh. almost into the computer and I, and I couldn't see. <laughs> Let's see. Travels all over the world. Let's see. Okay. Hey, thank you. <laughs> you see? It, it was a space. Yeah. Right, it was, right. It was the right. space and the other one was just a letter that you... Just a letter. Oh, thank you. It's... Hi, I have, I use glasses, so I, I, I can't see. <laughs> I think it's okay. Many of us, many of us use glasses. Don't worry. Good. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. Much. And it's, it's good because also, since we're going to do it uh, today, it's good for everybody um, to remember that many times, maybe you feel frustrated or angry and you're saying, oh, this is right. But it's sometimes it's, it really is a human mistake. It really is yes. one letter one space, one comma, one period, yeah. So yeah. if you if you find this a, a problem or something, you check in the group. That's why we have WhatsApp, send it in the WhatsApp. Oh, okay. And then sometimes another person can like, like Celia very quickly, hey, or like Roxana, hey, there's a space. You, you forgot the space because when you write it, you read it and for you is correct. But with other mm -hmm. eyes, the people can mm -hmm. identify quiz quickly what is the mistake. Yes. Yes, yes, okay. that's true. Thank you. No, thank, thank you. Thank you, all of you. <laughs> so, so, medium. So, so, thank you. Because now, since you are ahead in the class, can you please explain the relative clauses to the group? <laughs> oh, my God, it was very difficult for me. I have to go and check it. Another examples and exercises outside the platform because it, it was really difficult. Um, but I think I got it. Well, hey, you try to do the best. You try defining to get the main ideas. Mm -hmm. Okay, defining and non-defining, right? Yeah. Uh, when you you when you are talking uh, about anyone, any person, um, if you said something extra uh, about him or her uh, or or they, uh, that is not necessary to understand the sentence. Uh, that is a non-defining relative, but when it is when when it is needed to understand who are we talking about, uh, it's a defining. I will give you an example. <laughs> the, the example that is here. <laughs> 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 um, 
for example, I wrote that Sean Connery, who is retired now, made a lot of wonderful movies. Um, who is retired now is not a, it's not necessary to, to know that he made some wonderful movies, right? So uh, that is a non-defining because it's just an additional, um, an additional information, right? Tell me if I'm right. You are right, Miriam. Uh, okay. That, that is, that is <laughs> correct. Okay, and when you say, for example, John Gonzalez's brother, who is an actor, is very handsome, because John Gonzalez has another uh, brother. So we are referring to this specific brother that is an actor, that is very handsome. Is that correct? That is correct. <laughs> that is correct. So. Okay. Very, very good what Miriam mentioned, um, the examples that she's given and the explanation. Thank you, Miriam, very much. Yeah. Okay, you're welcome. The, the main idea that you want to remember from her explanation is there are two ways and both ways are correct. The difference is why is the function? They are what we call defining and non-defining. They use the same words. And the only difference is a technical difference. The only difference is a comma. So when it's defining, it does not use commas. When it's non-defining, yes, it uses commas. This is the technical difference. Besides that, in speaking and everything else and pronunciation, it's the same thing. But what medium example is very important. When you are explaining extra information about someone, this is with comma. When you are explaining information that is necessary to identify, to, um, to find the person, or then this one, you do not use a comma, okay? So if it's necessary, no comma. If it's not necessary, yes, a comma. I'm going to show you a small video to help you a little bit, but what Medium explained is the general idea. I hope this little video from the, the platform is able to make it easier for you, but we're going to see in this moment. If you have any questions, then you let me know when the video finishes, okay? And this is, in case you want to look at it later, this is the 4.7 is right before the exercise that we just did, the 4.8. I know we have studied relative clauses before, but this time we'll learn a little bit more. Stay and find out the difference between defining and non-defining relative clauses. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. Defining relative clauses are used to identify people. A dialect coach is a language specialist. She works with actors on their accents. A dialect coach is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. A dialect coach is a language specialist that works with actors on their accents. Non-defining relative clauses give further information about people. A location scout finds places to shoot scenes. He travels all over the world. A location scout who finds places to shoot scenes travels all over the world. As we mentioned on the intro video, we have two types of relative clauses. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. Let's look at the difference between them. Number one, defining relative clauses. The information in the clause is necessary. It shows us which person is being described or talked about. For example, the actor who starred in that movie is very talented. Number two, non-defining relative clauses. The information isn't necessary. It is extra information that is added to the sentence. For example, Tom Cruise who starred in that movie is very talented. I want to point out that commas are used before and after a non-defining relative clause. Think about the people involved in making a movie. Choose to and describe what they do using defining or non-defining relative clauses. I know we have a... 
Okay. <clears throat> so what is the main idea or the things that we really want to take away from this? Okay. We want to take away that there are two types. There is the defining and there is non-defining. And what is the most important? Well, the most important is that defining the information is necessary. Why? Because it shows us which person is being described or talked about, okay? So for example, I have three children, okay? I have three and I want to describe them to you. So I tell you, ah, I have two sons. So my son who has blonde hair is very talented. Ah, this is, normally it would be extra but in this case because it is a specific characteristic that identifies the person it is defining because it tells you and identifies specifically which of the children i'm talking about okay that's the defining relative clause you always think about it because if you eliminate it you don't have the specific person or you don't have the the complete idea that's how you're going to identify it now, with the non-defining, okay, hang on, let me get to it. The non-defining is the information is not necessary, okay, because it's extra information and we use it to just add more details to the sentence. Now, what would those be? Those extra ones could be something like this. Who starred in that movie? Yeah. Do you know Tom? It, there are many movies you don't know which movie so it's not inform it's not in important information okay but maybe if we didn't know who tom cruise is tom cruise who is an actor is salvadorian okay oh okay that would be a defining because it's not many many actors that are salvadorian okay so that's the main idea that we want to think of we want to think of that we have two clauses, one more time, defining and non-defining. Defining does not use a comma because the information is part of the sentence, is necessary, okay? Non-defining is extra information and it uses a comma because you can remove from the sentence. You can take out and it's still a complete sentence. Is that kind of okay? Okay. Yes. And with the okay. example that we saw from Medium, the two examples that we saw, we could identify what we're talking about because we use who or that to describe them and we're giving the information. And we know that because they're extra information, we use the commas. Okay. And what do you guys think? It's kind of a, a, sometimes it's a little complicated, but it's mainly through the practice that it gets easier. It's when we start thinking about how can we describe someone or what can we say? So for example, I have three uh, male students in the class. I have Daniel, Eric, and Ernesto, right? But I don't remember their names, for example. One day I didn't remember the name. Okay, so I would say, ah, the student or the man who wears a cap is my student. The man who wears a cap is my student. Now, it's defining because there's only one man that wears a cap, okay, in the meeting. Ah, that would be the idea, okay? So, always we can have the same sentence can be defining or non-defining. It really only depends on the information. It depends on the situation. Because if there are many people, imagine that all of the men were wearing caps, all of them were wearing, then it's non, then it's non-defining because it, it doesn't help us. It doesn't help us identify who, who my student is because all of the men are wearing it. But in this case, because there's only one, ah, now, yes, it's defining. Okay, so the same, this can be used for your clothes, for people, for anything. It's just, it's just the thing that you want to, you want to be specific about. So I can say, um, ah, the student who makes bracelets from home, okay, uh, 
is a, a good artist. Who am I talking about? Which person am I speaking about? Gladys. Gladys. Exactly, Maria. That's great, Eric. That's Gladys. And because you need this specific information to identify, now it's defining. Because if I eliminate, and I say, yeah, uh -huh, exactly, it describes her. Because if I say Gladys, if I say the student works from home, you don't know which one. There are, I, there are many. Which, wh who am I talking about? Am I talking yeah. about Andrea? Am I talking about Karen? Am I talking about Celia? About Claudia? About Maria? You don't know. But when I give you the defining eyes uh, specifically, this information to identify the person. Okay. So we're going to continue again tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to uh, take a look and make sure we're uh, wrapping up unit four. Also, please, if you have uh, questions about the platform or not sure, ask me tomorrow. Take a look at your exercises, see which ones you couldn't do. Because remember, the idea is this. The idea is to progress every day. Not, I hope everybody is going, nobody is in unit two or unit three and, and waiting and waiting and waiting. No, 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 no. Even if it's a little, one or two lessons every day, it's necessary to complete, okay? Okay, enjoy your dinner, okay. enjoy your evening. And if you have any questions, okay. you you ask Miriam and Miriam can answer. You see? You ask in the WhatsApp. I call you, Miriam. You, you call Miriam, you call Miriam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, have a great night. Good evening. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.